Alan, I think we're all relieved now <laughs> after that. That's the exact word I was just about to use, Ray, is relief. Um, st- such a strange game. Total in, in control, like dominant from the off. And the kid gets sent off, and rightly so. And I've got to give the referees due on that one. He stood and he looked. The ball went and he, and he steered on it and watched it. And the, the kid shoved his in the face twice. So it's 100% a red card, but seemed to change the game in their favour. We seemed to lose with composure and we got a warning a couple of times where one ball was beating them and they never took he, took any notice of it whatsoever and what a goal by the way mm-hmm. I will say Montenegro scored an absolutely wonder goal but should never have been allowed to do that in the first place really. it's, it's basic defending from the keeper kicking out his hands one ball was doing them and they let him push him off chest the ball bring it down turn and shoot I wish our forwards get that time to do that but it is it is it's baffling me and me and Daz will get really annoyed by it we laugh and joke about what we get really annoyed by because it, it shouldn't happen. It's it's a basics and them could cost you. And it nearly did today because them defended ever so well. They worked so hard. You could see them Kev's on at them constantly. They were like a 5-3-1 at mm-hmm. one stage and really hard to break down. And you think it's not going to be your day. And then we get the rub of the green. When it hits a post in here's managed to nick one. And, and it settles everyone's nerves. But my God. The back door just was was wide open constantly, and it's so annoying that we're leaving, we're giving teams something to cling on to, we're giving them a little bit of hope while and seeing the game through. So they've got to take massive things from this regarding defensively because mm. that it's chalk and cheese from the other night, isn't it? When you look at it, but yes, you've got to give credit to the centre folks. I thought he was really good, mind you. I thought one of the best we have played against this year. He's a right handful, but you can't defend like that and mm. expect to win games of football comfortably but fair play to the lads that done it in the end yeah Jacob Hazel he, he missed a few down at Telford <laughs> you remember early on the season but uh, he, he came good there with a, a great hat trick especially his second goal that header it was massively important that we got the goals today we would, like, yeah, I was contemplating changing quite a bit but Hayes does what he does best some of his link up play is not great we know mm. that but he scores goals so he's got 17 for the season. That's what he's brought in to do, mm. and he's doing that. It's just other ge- parts of his game that we're trying to improve and trying to work with him constantly. And he's a willing learner as well. He, he works hard, the kid. You kind of fault his work ethic. The second goal settled the nerves massively. Great ball from Ben, but what a fantastic header mm. to put it in. And the third one, I'm not sure I knew much about it. I think it <laughs> come to him, and he's just standing, and it man- he manages to guide it in. But that's what the best goal scorers do. They just find them in the right areas to put it in the back of the net. But we're, we're hummed and hard about changing shape constantly. We went from a, the 4 3 3. We were still in loads of possession of the ball, but we weren't getting enough people in the box. So we changed it to 4 4 2, put Kane up top, hide Morky Wade for 10 minutes, and brought young Theo on. And I thought once that happened, mm. the pace changed the game and things were going to happen. So delighted that it worked out. But the thought process behind changing it to 4 4 2 was because they must defend in so deep. And compact, mm. we need to pull people out of there and moving lads into wider areas and just leaving two of ours in there and working out it in. It seemed to cause them a lot more problems. Yeah, you could tell their manager used to manage Brackley because it was like playing Brackley at times, wasn't <laughs> it? He, he set them up to be defensive, to deny us space, and uh, it was making us anxious. There was a spell before he scored his second one when everybody was thinking, oh no, this could be 1 1 or even a breakaway. Them could have had a couple in the first mm. half as well, remember mm. Ray, from poor defending by us and then there was a breakaway, Montel again, good save by Tommy. Mm. But then breakaway should never happen. I'm watching our lads while we attacking and well on top by the way, in good possession of the ball. Montel's drifting off our lads and our lads aren't seeing anything. So all it is is communication. It, there's nothing to it other than that. We, our lads were ball watching while he's pulling off and then one ball and he's in because they don't know where he is. And it's clever play by him but it's poor defensively by us, that's a certainty. And we've told them that. They need they know that. So they certainly need to improve. But that's it. That's, we've rode our luck a little bit, but you can't say we didn't deserve to win the game. Mm-hmm. I think with the amount of chances we had, I think he has had a good few other chances yeah. as well. So but I was really pleased by the impact with Theo when he came on. I think he flipped them high and Kane up top, give that little impetus alongside his. And then his pace has caused all kinds of problems. They're a welcome three points, aren't they? Second in the joint second in the two, or just a point off the leaders, and seven points out of nine this week, which isn't too bad. Could be better, but not too bad. 
No, you, you would have took seven out of nine. Um, obviously, home games you want to try and get nine mm. out of nine, that's a certainty. But we've got rid of this who do that people keep going on about where we don't perform at home and whatnot with the home form. It's probably the same as the away form at this moment in time. So that that's done and dusted now. And I will say a massive well done to the Tin Shed again. It's, it's Honestly, I don't think they realise what a difference that is making to the lads. It's huge. The atmosphere, the noise from mm. them constantly. The lads are even talking about it now. We're prior to the last three games, I think, we've mm. probably been pretty quiet, especially the Chorley game. Yes, the lads were poor, but it shows that them can... M- make it so much better for the lads and lift the lads when they need lifting it's and I must say that they've got to keep it going they've got to keep this going because it's it's massively for the lads they love it they, they, they're talking about it in the dressing room the noise is back and it goes hand in hand without a doubt but the longer that I keep that going people will not want to come here and hopefully all those fans will follow us down to Boston next week our next away again yeah another tough game fighting for the lives Boston which if someone said that to me at the start of the season, I would have laughed at you. So, another difficult game. We've got to go there and try and break them down. I think that's what teams are probably going to do against us now. Um, that are fighting for their lives. They're, they're probably going to try and counter. We, we, we've got to try and break them down with the top goal scorers in the league. And that's probably one we are trying to compete against. With. But we've shown that we can unlock doors when we're still having to deal with that. So, I'm, I'm happy, but I'm not overly pleased with the defensive performance but the attacking performance I thought was really good